উত্তর কলকাতা শিমলেপাড়ার অ্যাটর্নি বিশ্বনাথ দত্ত সংসারে মা ভুবনেশ্বরের গর্ভে আঠেরোশো তেষট্টি খ্রিস্টাব্দের বারোই জানুয়ারি মকর সংক্রান্তির ভোর জন্ম নিলে এক শিশু দুরন্ত দামাল সেই শিশু বিলেকে সামলাতে তথস্থ সারা বাড়ির লোক बोलो <laughs> श्वास करो दर्जा जानला सब बंद की फिलते सब दिए लुट कर शेष करते ज्ञान दाओ भक्ति दाओ विवेक दाओ वैराग्य दाओ शरद नामी शारदानंद से जी ठीक तुरे आदर डाक मान जे नाम तुम्हारे डाकत शिवमय जगत सकल के प्रणाम ना कर मतन भलो ना बचले करब कम करते सेवा क्षुधार्थ मुखे अन्न तुले देर मध्य धर्म आचरण मान जब तब साधन भजन कथा खाली पेटे मानुष धर्माचरण करते आगे दुगुठ अन्न व्यवस्था कर ले तब तो स्थिर हो बस ईश्वर चिंता कर मानुष शिक्षा दीक्षा बल बीर्जे जदि जा चागिए तुलते ना पारि तब तो रामकृष्ण नाम ने जय जय श्री रामकृष्ण नरें नरें शरद ठीक ही ठाकुर के जो सत्य क्यों चिने थे से एकम्र तुम मूर्ख अंग दरिद्र मुची मेथर तुम रक्त तुम भाई बोलो दरिद्र भारतवासी मूर्ख भारतवासी ब्राह्मण भारतवासी चंडाल भारतवासी भाई तुम्हें कटी मात्र वस्त्र आवृत हा सदर पे डाकिया बोलो भारतवासी भाई भारतवासी प्राण भारत देव देवी ईश्वर भारत समाज शिशु शज्जा जौवन उपवन बार्धक्य बाराणसी बोलो भाई भारत मृत्तिका स्वर्ग भारत कल्याण कल्याण दिनराथ हे गौरीनाथ हे जगदम्बे मनुष्यत्व दाओ 
छाती फेटे जा जल इने दी पर भाई पानी जाते मुसलमान कबर खोड़ क्या करी नीचू जात स्वामीजी इन जगमोहल जी जार कथा आगे खेतरी महाराज अजित सिंह जी मुंशी नमस्कार मुंशी जी प्रणाम स्वामी स्वामीजी हमारे बड़ो अबाक लगे आपनी किचु मन करबें ना आपनी एक हिंदू सन्यासी और भकिल सब मुसलमान ताते कि हल ना आपनी एखे आसबाज कर खबर जले जख तक ये छोआ लेगे जो पे कि चाहिए बोल तो विधर्मी हाथ छोआ खबर खेले मशाई हमें एक जन हिंदू सन्यासी अपन सब तुच्छ सामाजिक रीति नीतर ऊर्धे हमारे अवस्थान क्षुद्रतिक्षुद्र जीवर मध्य परम ब्रह्मे दर्शन पाई जाऊलुषा पत्ता देवे क्या स्वामीजी मन ना कर दिशानंद नाम बड्ड नीरस और खटमटे खटमटे भलो बोले महाराज जहाज मुम्बई बंदर छाड़ल जपान योकोहमा बंदर उद्देश्योकोहमा बैंकुवार बंदर उद्देश्य पड़ी जमाल प्रिंसेस अफ इंडिया जहाज एक नतून आध्यात्मिक भारत गड़ार स्वप्न देखा स्वामीजी के लिए मध्य कोकम बिरोधी थकते जमशेद जी भवन तो एक बार पश्चिम आधुनिक विज्ञान भारत कठोर आध्यात्मिक साधनार मेलबंधन घटाते अभ्यर्थना निपीड़ित मानुष्ठ मुक्तर पथ देखाते ही तो आशा से ठाकुर बोलत ना खाली पेटे आज जो धर्म है ना एत दिन मातृदेव भव पितृदेव भव ए नतून मंत्र काशीपुर चपरस धरिए गल नरें लोक शिक्षे देवे तोरा तो सी छि ना कर 
আমার হার্ড সে কাজ করবে রে তোরাও তাই করবি রে এতটুকু ঢিলে দিলে চলবে না অনেক বড় দায়িত্ব আমাদের উপর শিব জ্ঞানে জীব সেবা বিশাল দায়িত্ব আমেরিকায় ইউরোপে আপনাকে দেখেছি এক স্নেহময় বন্ধু বেদান্ত প্রচারকের রূপে কিন্তু আজ এখানে স্বদেশে আপনাকে দেখছি আচার্য গুরু রূপে আশীর্বাদ করুন স্বামীজি যেন আপনার দেখানো পথে অবিচল ভাবে এগিয়ে চলতে পারি নিশ্চয়ই পারবে সেই শক্তি তোমার অন্তরে আছে দেখেই না মানব সেবার কাজে তোমায় দীক্ষা দিলাম নিবেদন করলাম ভগবান বুদ্ধের মতন বহুজন হিতায় বহুজন সুখায় নিজেদের মুখ্য মুক্তি সব কিছুর মোহ আকাঙ্ক্ষা ত্যাগ করে এগিয়ে চলো মানুষকে শিক্ষিত করার দায়িত্ব নাও বিদ্যালয় বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়ে ছাপ মারা কাগজে শিক্ষা নয় সত্যিকারের মানুষ করার শিক্ষা শ্যামা কখনো সে তো কখনো পিত কখনো নীল লোহিত রে কখনো সে তো কখনো পিত কখনো নীল লোহিত রে আমি আগে নাহি জানি কেমন জননী আগে নাহি জানি কেমন জননী ভাবিয়ে জনম গেল রে মাকি আমার কালো রে মাকি আমার কালো লোকে বলে কালি কালো আমার মন তো বলে না কালো রে We will now have our first academic session. I request Revered Swami Atmapriyanji Maharaj, Dr. Shivaji Raha and Prof. Makaran Paranjipay to please come over to the stage. Second innings, Nagesh. <laughs> Dr. Shivaji Raha, the director of Bose Institute, Kolkata, will present his paper on the spirit of scientific inquiry and future society. Respected Swami Atlapriyanandaji, other respected monks of the Ramakrishna order, the um, distinguished guests, I feel very inadequate to stand here and talk about the relevance of Swami Vivekananda's visions for future society. As a very ordinary student of science, I would try to draw some very mundane examples from our everyday experience and try to see how that measures up to the realistic ideals of Swami Vivekananda. I think it is universally accepted, at least in India, that the first socialist, both in terms of attitude and social vision, 
the name that comes to one's mind is Swami Vivekananda. And when one talks of future society, the goal of future society has always been the aspect that every society at every turn of history has always looked at. And future, so it's no wonder that a visionary like Swami Vivekananda would also have his ideas about what the ideal future society would be. And as we have heard from uh, Swami Attapriyananda Ji already, that the ideal society may not be achievable. It's like straightening the dog's tail, but in the process, in trying to achieve that ideal society, we would achieve education, the perfection that is already in us. And that is the best definition of education that I have ever heard. Swamiji said that education is the manifestation of the perfection already in man. So it's in achieving that education and attaining the ideal society or trying to attain that ideal society, what are the basic roles that ordinary mortals like us have to strive for? And I believe the primary aspect in that is pursuit of education. Swami Vivekananda has written extensively on what he believes is education and what importance he plays on, pays on education. And I would like to quote that The education, the proper um, the proper teacher is experience. Swamiji writes that Prakriti Shange Pratinyoto Bashkulle Tateki Jotatur Shikapajai. Obigota Yamanda Akmatru Shikok. And he also writes that the duties of a teacher are in a sense once again uh, this is uh, in Bengali so uh, I would is if there is anybody who doesn't understand Bengali in the audience I'll try to transliterate it although uh, not successfully I'm sure at the charagachke John Mata Diyajamun তদপেক্ষা বেশি তুমি একটি শিশুকে শিক্ষা দিতে পারো না যাহা কিছু তুমি করিতে পারো সমস্তই না এর দিকে তুমি সাহায্য করিতে পারো মাত্র শিশু নিজে নিজেই শিখিয়া থাকে তবে তাহাকে তাহার নিজের ভাবে উন্নতি করিতে আপনারা সাহায্য করিতে পারেন আমার মাথায় কতকগুলি বাজে ভাব ঢুকাইয়া দেওয়ার অধিকার কি আমার পিতার বা শিক্ষকেরই আছে এসব জিনিস আমার মাথায় ঢুকাইয়া দেবার কি অধিকার সমাজের আছে হয়তো ওগুলি ভালো ভাব কিন্তু আমার পথ না হইতে পারে অ্যান্ড দ্যাট অবজারভেশন ইজ সামথিং উইচ ব্রিংস আস অ্যাট লিস্ট ইন মাই ওয়ে অফ লুকিং এট থিংস টু ওয়ান অফ দ্য মোস্ট ভাইটাল ইস্যুজ দ্যাট কনফ্রন্স দ্য সোসাইটি টুডে অ্যান্ড উইচ উইল প্রবাবলি মোল্ড the future society that we are going to experience in the very near future. We are now in the 21st century. Swami Vivekananda, Acharya Jagadish Chandra, Rabindranath Thakur. We have just finished celebrating the 60th centennial of all of them. But we have celebrated the 60th centennials and as soon as we have celebrated them, we have probably conveniently forgotten the lessons that they have left for us. In this 21st century, 
we proclaim that this is the century of knowledge and to justify that we actually quote a saying from Francis Bacon almost 400 years, more than 400 years ago that knowledge is power so one would think that Bacon certainly foresaw the future okay so the future society that Bacon talked about is actually a reflection of the universal truth that knowledge is power and for those of us who claim to make a living or who claim to devote themselves to the intellectual pursuit pursuit of knowledge nothing could be more interesting nothing could be more appropriate what could be better knowledge is power so the pursuit of knowledge makes a person all powerful but this apparently exalting slogan hides a very dangerous truth and that truth is uh, translated into one sentence is that it's only that knowledge which lends itself to immediate commercial application is worth anything there is no other knowledge which is justified which is recognized which is appreciated that certainly is not the future society that Swami Vivekananda would have dreamt of in this spirit of globalization when we are connected all the time we have access to enormous amounts of information but the role of the teacher the role of analysis in sifting knowledge out of that information is something which seems to be a secondary task quite often present society does not even bother to check the veracity of the information that comes down the uh, broadband okay. that comes down the line if it's available on the net we seem to take it for granted and I can give you certain anecdotes we are all very familiar with Wikipedia and also these blogs and various other postal portals where any information can be put up and if nobody notices it and nobody challenges it ultimately it goes on living in the net and uh, is almost accepted as truth I can give you a very brief example from one of my personal limited experiences Wikipedia is some source of information which we all take for granted if you go and look at for some time in the year 2008 there was a span of about four weeks when the Wikipedia said that the then director of Bose Institute namely yours truly had already expired and somebody else was uh, had already been anointed director of the institute uh, for four weeks in the world of net I was dead and uh, then somebody one of my colleagues suddenly hit on that uh, link and wrote to them saying that no unfortunately uh, your information is wrong Shivajira continues to live and they, they corrected it but uh, that's only one example and I'm aware of it because it happened to me okay. um, irrespective of that the problem that remains is that this information which is readily available sometimes available too easily does not amount to knowledge to convert information into knowledge 
and take one step forward into achieving the perfection that we hope is already in us requires the spirit of scientific inquiry requires the spirit of analysis from the very beginning we have learned that at least in the sciences no truth can be accepted unless it is verified and that verification does not necessarily mean just an experimental vindication or well for a scientific law of course or scientific prediction experimental vindication is absolutely essential but take any human experience i just quoted you one line from uh, swami vivekananda that man learns from experience and that experience has to be internalized analyzed and a conclusion has to come from there that uh, observation that experience then and only then will we have achieved any knowledge okay. and the importance of deriving that knowledge is something which we do not we seem to be discouraging in the society quite regularly nowadays even the role of teachers swami ji says that you are not supposed to give them instruction beyond a certain degree but the role of the teacher the role of the mentor is primarily in teaching the younger generation to ask questions and encourage them not to accept any statement at face value be that a fact of science or be that an experience uh, in human relationships all of these have to be arrived at through individual analysis individual experience and this is precisely where the role of scientific inquiry comes about a very con a great contemporary of swami vivekananda acharya jagadish chandra bose he never had any direct interaction with vivekananda except that in the year 1900 when he was giving a lecture at the world uh, conference of physics and uh, sciences in paris swami vivekananda was present in the audience and he wrote very eloquently on that experience and uh, as far as i know that was the only um, comment or observation that swami ji made about uh, acharya jagadish chandra but they had a very close ink uh, inkling primarily through bhogini nivedita and all of us know that bhogini nivedita became a very close family friend of uh, sir jagadish chandra and lady abola in fact sister nivedita died in the house of uh, that belonged to jesse bose's in law uh, jesse bose's brother in law in darjeeling roy villa and sir jesse bose and lady abola were by the side of bhogini nivedita when she passed away she left she was had accompanied uh, then sir jagadish and lady abola on various trips primarily to takushila and ajanta and it was from her sketches that the motive of the architecture that was to be followed in bose institute were taken up it is from the sketchbook of sister nivedita that the emblem of uh, the bose institute the bajra has been taken up so sister nivedita was one of the primary inspirations behind the establishment of the first institution of research and higher learning in uh, india uh, in fact all of asia devoted to full time research 
the Bose Institute, which was founded in 1917, six years after her sister Nivedita had left the earth. But her spirit lived on, and on during the uh, inaugural address of the on the day of the foundation of this institute, that Acharya Jagadish delivered on 30th of November 1917, I would like to quote a few paragraphs from there and that is where I believe the spirit of Sister Nivedita and Swami Vivekananda lives on through the protestant through the instructions that Sir JC left for his would-be followers he this uh, lecture the inaugural lecture of Sir Jagadish is available, uh, he called this, uh, the title of this lecture was The Voice of Life. Okay. And he began with the statement that I dedicate today this institute not merely a laboratory but a temple. And in there, this is a piece of